guys welcome back to my channel again i'm here with another hair install and this time around i'm gonna do a full sew in no leave out so before this time i'm gonna um, wash my hair and make sure that i stretch it using this hair dryer and i'm gonna apply some hair uh, food uh, and i love this hair food a lot because it makes my hair to you know have a lot of volume and i like using this oli uh, olio capelli um, which I got from Italy and so this is my braid pattern. I'm keeping it simple and nice The back especially is simple, but I make sure that the front is nice So this is the hair I'm using today. This hair is by Euro hair and it came in that box and in the box um, I, I have I have three bundles of hair and uh, and the front towel and I really really love 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 this hair. It's a deep uh, loose a wave i think i'm gonna put everything that you need to know about this hair under in the description box the lace is wide and nice and it's transparent lace it's really beautiful i love it and um, yeah and the lace um size is 13 by 4 yeah and uh, you can see the front line is plugged and it's really nice um uh, but i'm not going to use the front towel for this install i'm going to use these three bundles here the bundles are nice you can see how neat the weft look and they are all sealed together and the color pattern i like it is nice loose wave and all that so yeah this is the three bundles i'm going to use and i'm using a double uh, i'm going to double my track and uh, of course i'm going to sew from the back like so a lot of you have seen me doing this before so i won't talk much you know showing you this so i'm using a curve needle to start but i'm going to be using curve needle and uh, needles and straight needles and uh, because i like to use um any of those two so if anyone if you don't like the straight needle don't worry you can use the cover but i just love to use both and i love to use the straight most time so yeah this is what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be sewing this um into my um corn roll and to the back i'm sewing, i'm sewing it under and i make sure that when i get to the end i flip over and i continue sewing it's really, it's really easy you don't have to pass your needle through the um, weft but just pass it under the weft and you know you're good to go so this is what i'll be doing i'll let you watch this and i'll come back and talk to you later So now I have two bundles on my on my head. I've sewn two, uh, two bundles, so I have one left, and this is the one bundle that's left. So I'm going to use this now to finish up. So yeah, um, uh, I'm going to just still go ahead and continue sewing, and I want to reduce this piece so that it can be smaller 
before I do the closing. So yeah, just continue watching. Okay, so now that I've gotten to this point and I've reduced the space in the front, I'm going to cut my um, weft now so that I can use just one. I won't double it anymore because I need it to be um, nice because I'm going to be folding. Um, this point, if you like, you can do like an invisible um, kind of um, so you can use like glue to glue down this part if you want. If you like, you can pieces the hair in tiny bits, you know, to sew in. But I'm not going to cut this hair. I just want to continue sewing and turning it over and continue sewing until I get to the end of it. Um, if this style, kind of style is not for you, you don't have to do it. But I just like to, you know, do new things, try new things. I didn't want to use glue on my hair. So I, I went ahead and did this sewing and I like the final result. So yeah, if you don't like it, fine. But if you want to use glue, you can go ahead and do I'm still going to try to use glue in another video, you know, so that I can show you guys the, the, and compare the results. But for this video, I'm going to be sewing. So when you're sewing, you have to be careful. You have to watch your, be careful with the needle and be careful, you know, to do this neatly and nice. Yeah, this guy, guys, this was not easy to film because I had to make sure that I'm in uh, in the camera uh, lens and like I'm focused. At the same time, I was trying to see what I'm doing, so it was a lot of work and my my shoulders were heavy, you know, guys. But I did it. Day I like the result, and of course, I know you like it too. So if you have watched this lens and you like this video, don't forget to press like for me and don't forget to share this video. And for now, so just continue watching until you see the final look. So guys, this is what is left um, out of the um, the last bundle, and I didn't use the lace like I said. So I'm gonna brush the hair now, and you know, and try to style it. 
um i wanted to trim the hair to make it look round but i was like no i don't have to do that because i'm still going to put this hair in a wig and i'm going to use the lace um to make a wig like a frontal wig so i didn't want to just stamp out with the length until i'm done with that which will be the, like the final styling so yeah i'm using a uh, mousse to you know um you know apply on the head so that the colors can the wave can pop a little bit here yeah, so this is what i'm doing and you can see that it's nice my part is nice and yeah it kind of look like my uh crochet braid style but it doesn't so talking about this hair this hair is amazing the shedding uh was minimal no no a lot of shedding you know but it was just there it was just fine everything is sealed and nice i like it a lot and thanks guys for watching this video until my next one bye